Well, what up, people? It's VDOS Tech, and yo, check it out. This is the Jellycomb Foldable 2-in-1 Wireless Keyboard. Now, this claims to work on Android, iOS, and Windows. We shall see about that. If so, this could be the travel, the new travel keyboard right here, and it's only $29.99 on Amazon right now. Let's jump in the box and see what we're working with. All right, so yo, there goes the keyboard. Let's put that to the side for right now. You get a micro USB charging cable. So I guess no type C charging. And you get your touch man, your user manual. Might want to keep that, but for right now, that can go bite bye. All right, let's crack it open. And there it is. And yo, that is light. And as you can see, ta-da! If you, but, but, but it go this way. I mean, you can try to type this way, but that's you. I can't get down like that. I can barely type now. Typing upside down? Who know? It might help. But here's how it is. Here goes your touchpad over here. And here goes your keys. Huh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, we're just going to ignore that the lights just fell. It is what it is. Keeping it moving. Up top, you get your charging port and your on and off. And don't know what this is. I guess we'll see. Let's go ahead and get it hooked up to something and try it out. All right, let's put it to the test and see if it actually works. So you can see I'm in Bluetooth settings right now. Come over to the keyboard. Let's turn it on. See the blue light just came on. This turns out that it's the pairing button. So we'll come here, hit pair. We should see it pop up soon. It is searching. There it is, Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. We'll hit that. We have to put in a code, 251-800, enter. And there it is, Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard connected. Let's go ahead and go home. That works out just fine. Let's hit Chrome. I was last on Best Buy. Yeah, it seems to be working out perfect. Mouse seems to be working fine. And the light fell again. Are you serious? <laughs> Why not? All right, let's keep it moving. Uh, function home. Google Keep Notes. Let's make a new note. Let's say this keyboard is dope. Yeah, so it doesn't seem to be, it seems to work just fine. And that's just straight out the box. Let's hit YouTube. Oh, is that me? It is. Look at all these videos. You should go and check out. Shameless plug. <laughs> but all right, so you see it works in Chrome, it works in YouTube, it worked as a note. Let's see, there's your Gmail. Okay, there goes the Pixel Buds. Might check those out. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Function home. All right, so it works on the phone. Let's see what else it works on. All right, let's try the same setup. This is an iPad. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Let's see if the lights fall again this video. <laughs> turn it on. We will hit pairing for it to search. There it is, it popped up, Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. Go ahead and hit that. This one's a shorter code, 2134, enter. And there it is, just like that. So I guess so, maybe it does work. Maybe it actually does. It's not just claiming to. You can see here's the cursor right here. Let's go ahead and hit Safari. Load up the Titans homepage. Yeah, go Titans. Arrows is working fine. Arrows up, arrows down. Two fingers. So, yeah, I'm get. It looks like it's working just fine. And you see the setup process 
doesn't even take 30 seconds but for the real test I got this as I said before to try out on the note 20 ultra for the wireless decks so let's go see if it works there that is what I want to see I'll be back all right so boom here's the keyboard there's the phone right there there's the decks on the big screen let's go ahead and hit those lights and there's the cursor right here all right let's go ahead and let's say we want to change up the wallpaper retire this wallpaper let's go to gallery hit this let's do some miles let's just change it to home in lock screens set both as wallpaper hey yo that's dope but it's not all about the wallpapers. Let's see. Let's see. Let's, let's see if we can get some work done. All right. So let's go to let's go to sheets. We got a to-do list. Go ahead and load up the to-do list. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I did that. I changed the styling of the completed items under format. Yep. Did that. Hmm. Did I sort the items using the drop-down arrows next to the heading name on the web page? Yeah. Sure. I did that too. <laughs> Huh, I wanna watch something. Let's let's watch Disney Plus. Let's watch the Proud Family. Go ahead and throw on an episode right there. What? That's working out just fine. Can't get copyrighted though. Oh, I wanna do some Amazon shopping though. Let's let's just trip on Amazon. Let's see. Let's see. Let's check out those headphones though. 348. Yeah, okay, okay, those headphones is dope. Those headphones is dope. All right, uh, what else was I supposed to do? Hmm, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I had an email I was supposed to write. Hmm, what does that say? Let's go ahead and click on that. Huh, okay. Hmm, got it, I got it, I got it. Huh. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Samsung DeX, and there goes the keyboard. No issues at all. So this could be the perfect little dope keyboard. I'm not having any issues with it. I think I'm going to go play with this keyboard some more, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. It's V Does Tech. Later.